Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. I'm really excited to show you some brand new cigar shell Cordovan wallets that we're offering right now on the private stock page. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you what cigar shell Cordovan is and how it compares to the classic color number eight. The classic Cordovan color is this color number eight shell Cordovan. It's a really beautiful dark brown and burgundy shade. As you spin this leather around, you'll notice that the color sort of transforms before your eyes. At some angles, it's a little bit more red and cherry. In other angles, it's a little bit more of a dark brown. The backside of the leather here is what the shell cordovan looks like without any stains applied. Now in my hands here is a small piece of natural shell cordovan. You'll notice that it has a nice little bit of vibrance in color. It's a little bit more of like an orangey tan shade. This is also shell cordovan without any stains applied. The reason that this color is a little bit more orange and tan as opposed to the lighter, less vibrant backside of the leather is because the Venetian shoe cream has transformed the color to become a little bit more orange. If you're not familiar with the Shell Cordovan process at Horway and Leather Company, the way that this leather becomes bright and shiny is from a process called glazing, where the tannery applies a little bit of Venetian shoe cream and then runs a glass rod over the top of it and packs it in, smooths it out, and you get this really nice mirror-like shine. So comparing the natural on the left, they've applied that little bit of cherry sort of brown shade to get this color eight look. But if you go a little bit less red, a color comes out called cigar. I'm looking at my camera viewfinder here and it's appearing that the color is a little bit lighter on camera than it is in person, but you can definitely see that the cigar shell cordovan is more of a straightforward and true brown where the color eight is definitely more burgundy to it. And if I look at them side by side like this, you can definitely see what I'm talking about. So cigar shell cordovan is a special color that is actually an exclusive color for Alden. Sometimes the tannery makes some smaller pieces of leather that are just not large enough to make into those shoe size or boot size patterns that Alden uses. And that's when Horwain offers those smaller shells to us here at Ashland and we're able to offer these as special events. So I've got about 20 different items that we're gonna go over today. I'm really excited to show you this one. This is our Tony the Ant style with vertical card slots on the interior. A lot of people have been asking us for this variation on the Tony the Ant that we only did on small batches before. So we're bringing it back again by popular demand. So outside we have this external bill slot with a thumb notch. And then on the inside, we have one, two, three card slots on the left and three card slots on the right. Up next is our most popular wallet style. This is the Johnny the Fox. It's roughly the same size, the Tony the Amp we looked at, but with a more traditional card layout on the inside. I love reverse shell cordovan for the interiors of wallets. I find that the reverse cordovan is much more easy to polish in and fill in when you get scuffs and scratches on the inside as opposed to the shell cordovan. So cordovan will scratch itself. So I usually recommend at least half of an interior of a wallet be reversed. The inside of this John of the Fox is remarkable looking. I love the reverse side of cigar shell cordovan. And you'll notice as we flip through the pieces in this batch, they'll range in color from a lighter tan shade. And sometimes they have a little bit more green to it. It's definitely more of a light tan or a light brown in person. And the reason that you're seeing some of those green shades is the tanner is trying to kill some of that orangey tan that is sort of inherent to the Venetian shoe cream when it's polished. So if you ever try to match colors yourself, you'll balance out this blend between green and red in this example. Red tends to kill the green and green tends to kill the red when you're matching colors. The reason that we're seeing some of this green shade on the reverse side of the cigar shell cordovan is the tannery has applied a little bit of green dye to that brown to kill some of the red. So we don't end up looking like that cherry red burgundy shade of the color eight, much more of this true brown shade. I'll keep it rolling here with some more reverse cigar shell cordovan pieces. And then later we have some 100% cigar shell cordovan. Here's another fan favorite wallet. This is our vertical Frank the Enforcer. We have one, two, three card slots on the front, one larger slot in the center. This will fit US dollar folded in half. And then the back, we have two more card slots with cigar on the top of each of these. Up next is the Capone Money Clip. A lot of people have been coming to us recently for the Capone Money Clip. I think people are starting to get back into minimalist wallets. This is a trend that we see happen every few years. And I'm really glad to see it because on the Capone Money Clip, it's a great wallet to use for these external two card slots. These two on the, on the front and back, on the outside of the wallet, I find to be tremendously easy to use, easy to access. 
And then my lesser used cards, I like to put on the inside. And I love this money clip because it's extra strong. It will hold a single dollar in place. The other great thing about using this reverse cigar shell cordovan is we get to see that Horween ink stamp. And speaking of the Horween ink stamp, here's a beautiful fat Herbie. This one has a great Horween shell cordovan ink stamp right in the center. I love the look of the reverse shell on this guy. Let's compare it to that Johnny the Fox we saw earlier. The fat Herbie here, the reverse interior is much more tan, where the Johnny the Fox from earlier, a little bit more green. And that is a good representation of the range of color that we see on the reverse side of the Cordovan. Let's give you a look at the outside of this wallet. I love seeing a huge context of shell Cordovan on a large pattern piece like the Fat Herbie because it really allows the natural beauty of the leather to shine. And then the other thing I'm liking about these reverse interior wallets is it gives it a nice framed out look. So on the edges of all these wallets, we do a little bit of a beveling and then hand wax and burnish all the edges in to be very smooth. On the 100% shell pieces that we'll look at in a minute, those all have hand stained edges. Up next is our Bugs Moran wallet style. Another minimalist style here, nothing on the back. So it's really good for being extra thin. Great for a front pocket wallet. On the inside, we have two card slots, the larger of which will hold US dollars folded in half. And the last up for our reverse cigar shell Cordovan is the Frank the Enforcer. Unlike the one we looked at earlier with the vertical card slots, we call this Frank the Enforcer Classic. This has the two card slots on the front, one larger one in the center. This will fit US dollars folded in half. And then on the back, we have this thumb notch card slot as well. All right, let's move into some 100% cigar shell Cordovan pieces. This is our vault key holder. It has a snap closure on the front and then these two key case screw posts on the sides. You can unscrew the caps on each of those and then drop in your keys on the inside. I like to have it. So as my keys rotate down, the blade of the teeth are down on the inside of my key holder. So when it flips out, it ends up looking like this. Up next is another item that is backed by popular demand. This is our Bic lighter and lighter sheath. I love the way the Shell Corvin looks on the lighter sheaths, especially the way we've been doing it recently with these hand-stained waxed and burnished edges. Up next is another minimalist wallet style. This is our Vic Snap Wallet, 100% Cigar Shell Cordovan. We originally designed this wallet with that snap closure on the front to be a coin pouch. It definitely functions well as a coin pouch, although these days it seems like more people are picking this one up for a minimalist card holder. Speaking of minimalist card holders, this is our Machine Gun Jack, also in 100% Cigar Shell Cordovan. Machine Gun Jack is one of our oldest designs and it's an asymmetrical minimalist style card holder. This one does not hold US dollars very nicely. You have to fold US dollars into thirds to fit them inside the machine gun jack, but this one will fit a ton of credit cards on the inside. And then the look of it, as this is worn in, everything starts to mold in very nicely. It's a beautiful minimalist style. Up next is one of our most recent wallet additions. This is the Lucky Wallet, and it's a wallet that I've been using for the last few months. Really interesting design here with no fixture to hold this flap down other than the inherent qualities of veg tan leather. So you'll notice that all the Lucky Wallets that we have have no snap closure on the front, nor do they have a little belly band to hold this flap into place. And when it is new like this, it might look very confusing, but as this wallet is worn in, the natural character of the veg tan leather will mold into place and it becomes very easy to use, very quick and easy to access all your cards and cash on the inside. What I like most about my Lucky Wallet, and I'm still carrying one right now, is this quick access card slot on the back same sort of idea as on the Capone Money Clip that we were looking at earlier. This is where I put my most used cards. And then on the inside, we've got this sort of half stitched down bill compartment. And you'll notice that it's not stitched all the way down here. So it'll allow you to easily access your cash on the outside and then everything flaps closed. So you don't have to necessarily flash all your cash to everybody when you're using a wallet like this, you can actually fold them in half and also fit it all the way back here too. Up next is another Frank the Enforcer. This time it is 100% cigar shell Cordovan. Beautiful pieces of cigar shell in this batch. On the edges of this Frank the Enforcer, we also have those waxed and burnished edges, which are matched perfectly to the shell. We actually use the same exact dye blend as Horween does. Up next is our Bugs Moran wallet style, but this time we have the cigar shell Cordovan on the outside as well as on the inside. And unlike on the reverse shell Cordovan, Cordovan interiors that we looked at earlier. All the 100% cigar shell Cordovan pieces have the matching hand stained cigar edges. Up next is our passport holder. This is sort of like our Fat Herbie design, except we extended the height to be a little bit taller. We do still have that same exterior bill slot on the back of the wallet. This will fit all paper currency in the world, which is why it's great for traveling with. 
And then on the inside, we have this one larger compartment without any card slots that will fit your passport inside of it. And then two credit card slots on the left. Up next is my favorite wallet design. The first wallet that we ever started making. This is the flagship Fat Herbie design, just like the passport holder, except a tiny bit shorter. A lot of people have concerns about the Fat Herbie fitting into their pants. I have never had a problem fitting it into any back pocket. Uh, for any jeans or any trousers that I have. In fact, a lot of people like to wear the Fat Herbie in their front pocket, including my, my dad. Here's a look at the inside of this one. Up next is the baby brother to the Fat Herbie. This is the Tony the Ant. It's sort of like a shrunken down Fat Herbie where we still have that same aesthetic with the exterior bill slot. And then on the inside, we've oriented the card holders around a little bit differently. They're stacked on top of each other for the Tony the Ant. A couple more pieces to look at. I think people are gonna love this one. This is again, the vertical Frank the Enforcer, this time 100% cigar shell Cordovan. Nice hand stained matching edges for this guy. We've got the hidden card slot on the front, larger card slot for cash, and then two card slots on the back. And of course we had to do the Capone money clip also in 100% cigar shell Cordovan. Love the clean look of this. I love matching edges on the 100% shell pieces, which is why we do it on the cigar shell cordovan here, but we also have it on our black shell cordovan wallets and the color eight shell cordovan pieces. Two more wallets to go, another Tony the Amp. Let's do a quick compare and contrast for the vertical card slots versus the traditional. There are more card slots, and this is a little confusing to people. Although there are more slots, there's two more slots on the vertical Tony, I actually find it's easier to carry more cards on the traditional Tony the Ant. It's because there's less leather on the inside. It's a little easier to get cards in and out of on these larger width slots as opposed to the vertical slots. If you're using one card, maybe two cards per slot, I think the vertical is a good choice. If you like to put three or four cards in a slot like I do, I like the traditional layout, but we still have that same exterior bill slot on both versions. And last up is a beautiful piece, 100% cigar shell Cordovan, Johnny the Fox. And this is extra special for me to see. I say this every video, but when we're able to get rare Cordovan colors that are thin enough for Johnny the Fox like we have here, it's a very special day. We're not able to make many of these. We don't like to thin down our leathers because it absolutely ruins the strength of the material. So we have to pick naturally thin pieces of shell which are often pretty rare. Maybe 5% of the Cordovan that we see have a small section on it that might get us one of these pattern pieces. And when we're talking about getting all these layers together, it can be a really difficult uh, thing for us to achieve. So it's very special to have 100% shell Cordovan giant foxes, including on this cigar shell Cordovan. We've just added a ton of great stuff to the Private's Dog page. Hopefully you're able to pick up one of these cigar shell Cordovan pieces. But if you have any questions, about cigar shell cordovan, shell cordovan, how leather's made, definitely let me know. I can't wait to get back over to the tannery to do some more behind the scenes videos of how the leather is made. I just love going over to the tannery because it's a working museum that not a lot of people get to see. So I'm very excited to do that. Maybe leave a comment with what you'd like to see over there at the tannery. Until next time, hope you have a good one.